Okay, so as soon as Kargath rips that off, Artie, um, you're going to see this tiny little gnome try to just uh, kind of not go through a temper tantrum, um, but he's just going to give that back. That, that is not yours. has nothing to do with you. Please give that back. Cargas just going to look at Annie and hand it to you. You're the one who wanted it. Thank you. She's the magical um, person. I, I could care less, but you're not telling us something. And normally I don't bully people, but I need answers. We need answers. You're going to answer them. Cargas just going to look up at Annie and go, can I have that back, please? I'm just going to stare at him with my purple eyes and kind of swish my tail a little bit and agree, you know, our friend here is not the only one that knows you're not telling us something and this is clearly important to you. There's something magical with this. You tell us what it is, we'll give it back. It has nothing to do with you. Are you going to try and figure out what it is? Or you can tell he's shut down. Well, I mean, if he's shut down and he's just telling us to give it back, I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> if he, is he making any attempts to take it back? At his size, no. But you can tell he's a little... He's skittish. Um, kind of like, like you, you backed him in a corner and he doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I'll try to investigate it. I um, don't have identify. Don't, nope. I think only our uh, bard has identify, I believe. And he's out of spell slot still. Unless you can you identify know. cast. No, actually, I don't have identify. No? Okay. No. Nope. Well, that's too bad for you guys. Um, <laughs> you could still try to... Did you want to do anything with it? Um, you would still know that you Yeah, can I just kind of like walk off by myself a little bit and continue to hold my pendant around my neck and then look at his in my other hand. Okay. Um, and Are you going to try and use it? I no. I just want to But you are still going to you're still gonna hold on to it, like put it in your hand. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I've got one hand up around my necklace, and then I've got the other one. It's in my hand, just kind of like open palm, looking at it. Okay. But I'm. I'm hoping to kind of. Yep. Channel my curiosity into mm -hmm. my own, um, and try to investigate it that way. Pretty much as soon as you hold on to it. Um, without even really thinking about certain things, um, just even holding on to it, um, you're going to get flashes of memories. Lots of them. All from the perspective of Artie. Um, you're going to have just random things because you're not really focusing on anything, but you're going to get flashes of names, people, places kind of like a quick brief history of Artie's history. You can build war forges. <laughs> you can tell it's not really without um, investigating it or taking the time to identify it, but it has something to do with captured memories. Would I be able to any any type of investigation without having the identify spell, especially with would other, I be able to other than the type of magic, um, unless you held on to it and tried to play with it more. You wouldn't really get too much more out of it other than just random glances. Like if you stopped holding on to it and just held it by the chain. Nothing would happen. Okay. You have to be touching it. 
I want to kind of, while I'm still holding it, look up, look up at him and lock eyes with him and kind of like clock my head a little bit. And okay. then I want to put it on. Okay. Um, he's just going to look at you and scream, no. Uh, You're going to undo so much. It's not, it's not meant for you. It's meant to help me. Help you do what? It's hard to explain and I don't know if you should. I, I don't want to tell you people because you had nothing to do with you. Um, and his I, voice sound the same when he said that? Kind of. Um, as you go over the, um, if you since you put it on, um, you're going to have a helping hand. Um, in the back of your brain, you're going to go, hmm, I've never used one of them before. I like it, though. I'm going to give you a freebie. It's a memory stone. It has not all, but the potential to capture your entire, every, everything you've ever learned inside, so other people can tap into it. Fascinating. Not really useful to us, though. I thought it would be. Professor, you said this was meant to help you? Yes. You probably don't want to tell us where you got it, do you? If you focus, you might be able to figure it out for yourself. I'm curious if if it's there to help him. Are these all his memories or are these someone else's memories these are that were given to These him? are Professor Artemis's memories. Okay. Is there anything specific you'd well, like he... to try and focus on? I do want to know. I would like to know who gave it to him. Okay. Um, so you would be able to tell that the very first time this was ever used was from the perspective of Professor Artemis, pretty much exactly how, who you're looking at right now, but it's being handed off to... something taller amorphous not really too many features you're going to get a memory of them talking um, exactly what's said is kind of hard to tell but it's more of a I can't be there right now I need you to take over for me for a bit and he's going to hand this other creature the necklace and you're going to see the person, or whatever it is, holding on to it, morph into Professor Artemis. Professor, where are you from? The Feywild. Interesting. The original Feywild? Why? I said I was old. How long have you been here? 905 years, give or take. I know I, time's different. I take here. it you've seen something you probably shouldn't have. So the rest of you 
are going to see this creature grow a little bit. And change a lot. And he's going to turn into... Well, first... <laughs> he'll turn into just... He'll look at Anakit and turn into Anakit. And then Kargath. And then Clark. He's going to go through all five of you. And then finally back to... Artie. Well, shit. Can we at least go sit somewhere nicer? And can I have that back, please? I would like to hold on to it until you're a little more clear with us. This doesn't leave this room. I need words. I need your word. All of you. Doesn't matter if you're lying to me. I'd just like to hear it. I narrow my eyes a little bit. You have my word. It's not for your safety or my safety. It's mainly for the people of this city. Look, as you guys go and just find a spot to sit, um, he's going to go make some tea, pass it around, whoever wants it. Uh, He's trying to come up with what he wants to tell you. Um, as you guys sit down, uh, he's just going to pass the tea around, whoever wants it. Um, he's going to be drinking a lot of it. Uh, 25 years ago, Professor Artemis had to leave. Didn't tell me why. Didn't tell me where he was going. Just that he had something to do. And, well, he knew, was a, he knew I was a changeling. We've been working together for quite a long time. I've had to take over for him a few times before. Not as smart as him. More of a prolonged assistant that never made master. Not a bad artificer. I can do certain things. I'm really good at shape-shifting and doing things nobody else wants to do. Over the years, him and I started doing private teachings to try and, as his age got older, in case I had to take over for him one day. So he created that and put not all his memories into it, but the majority of what he thought I'd need called me a prodigy, started teaching me a lot of things in secret. And he said mainly he needed an extended vacation for personal work. He'd never taken a day off in hundreds of years, so of course I said yes. That was 25 years ago, and after the explosion 15 years ago, I haven't heard from him. I assume he's dead. He still has classes to teach. He's got people to learn, things to build, this whole stupid place to fix. So I became him. His assistant doesn't know. His Neither of his assistants know. I have most of all his old notes. So he gave me that memory stone, pretty much, so in case I can't didn't know something hopefully he put it in there for me so like i said i don't know what those runes are and he didn't give me the memory about them most of his memories are just meetings remembering certain things i've been with him quite a while so i know certain things but yeah like i said satan is the only word name i can think of that he's got a some sort of memory of seeing her do something with different type of runic magic so yeah 
Can I have that back, please? When he gave you this, did he give you any way to contact him? We never really needed to contact each other. When he showed up, he showed up. He didn't, I didn't really ask. Was there any type of backup plan in case crisis mode happened on your end that you would be able to get in touch with him if shit hit the fan pretty much? <laughs> I'm pretty good at staying alive. For me, I just... The eventuality would be people find out if I ever did die because I'd just revert back to my normal form. But so far, I have been very careful in what I do. And if it wasn't for you, he's going to look at Kyragath again, none of this would have happened. So yes, when I tell you I don't know what is going on with those robots, I don't know because it's not in that. That makes sense. I, under I understand that. And I believe that. I do find it strange that he would trust you with his complete life without any way for you to reach out to him if necessary. I knew of a few places he'd go. Of course I've asked. I haven't gotten any word. Last I knew he had... He traveled a lot. Like... He, he he needed so much material, it was easier for him to go get it himself and look at the quality of it instead of going through the merchant hits. Like, he had his own flotilla of ships. He had his own other crew. Most of his Warforged did stuff for him. Um, these, like, he's built thousands of these over the years. Most of it was a lot of assistants and students but he got to the point where his warforged were making his warforged mm -hmm. most of them are in the army students the schools got a lot but uh, he took I don't know about a hundred with him when he left I didn't ask I enjoy the teaching part I like the school so I'm trying to keep his memory alive if he is dead Usually it was only like six months max before I got word, but I haven't heard anything. No one's Inside. seen him. Sure. Anyone it's a 19. Can too? Yeah, he's telling you the truth. You don't really get... Okay. He's, uh, he's laying things out because he's probably been wanting to lay things out for a while. Um, he doesn't trust any of you, but you put him in a corner and he's not a fighter. So yeah, what do you want to do with all this information? I'll help when I can, but I'd really like to go back to my job and my work. Man, Artie's life is not terrible. But he's left me a lot of things to do, and I'm not as smart as him, so I have to do things the hard way and figure out certain things that that thing won't tell me. Which is why some people have been getting... Injured lately, because, like I said, he was smarter. Um, can I ask him if he works on the big thing, or is that the real him? That was the real him. I wasn't allowed to touch anything that big. It was working fine until someone took its power core. I didn't hear you if you uh, said something there, uh, Abe. I said, I'm glad he took it. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't want to see this big thing on the loose. But I don't know what it does. I was never told. But yes, I do agree. If something that size uh, got out like these ones, things could go bad. But, problem for another day. Mm, I got an autopsy to go to later, and that's another strange one. Professor Magnus has been, she's old like me, but she's been in great health, and then all of a sudden her memory starts to go. 
don't get it. Is she an elf? Human ish. Mostly, yeah. You you uh, if you uh, ever went and saw her, she'd be human. But if you're gonna ask, he'll tell you she's human. I'll ask. Um, she's old. Um, she ran the um, uh, Lunarn Sanctuary at the on the planet for years. And when the opportunity came to come here, she jumped at the chance of teaching new people. She didn't come right away. Um, right before the portal collapsed, uh, I think she'd only been here maybe 10 years. So this was just going to be a stopover for her that turned into a life. How she's kept alive, we have no idea. We didn't ask. We felt impolite. But for her memory just to go like that, none of the none of us who know any magic healing could figure it out. It's just slowly started to fade away over the course of started about a month ago, but the last couple of weeks, I'm told it's gotten worse. I haven't really been here because I was traveling, so I haven't seen her since then. Had some of us been able to get there last night instead of being with you, maybe we could have done something. I doubt it, but we'll know more after the autopsy, I hope. What was the name of her assistant? Um, the assistant for her? I don't think you got it. Or Magnus. Okay. Yeah. You could ask. Yeah, that, yeah, I was asking Artie. Or not Artie. Uh, let me bring that up here. I do have that. I believe it's Ms. Granger. Hmm? It is. Ms. Granger. She probably would have been the one who was talking to Winifred. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Yep. Are you conducting the autopsy? Oh, God, no. I'm not that... I'm a scientist. <laughs> I just know a little bit of healing and certain things when they can't figure out, they think I can. No, I've never been able to figure out anything medical. They just bring me along just so they can say they someone else looked and said no. I am a little curious, so I still want to go. Where does that type of autopsy and study for weird cases like that, where, where would that take place? Um, probably, um, most schools would have, like, somewhere to keep her, um, is, she's probably going to be at the school. They'd have their own medical, uh, people, either that, unless she had a will and wanted to go somewhere else, she might be sent to one of the temples, uh, until you ask, you don't really know. And he probably wouldn't know either. Mm -hmm. mm, it's either going to be the school or one of the temples. <laughs> Can I have that back, please? I'm going to look around at my at my group. What do you all think? What he said to you? Should we give it back? Why? Well, it's not going to help us at all, is it? Unless you can find anything in there about runes. It's true, and he didn't. He doesn't know any of that. It could be beneficial for him to carry on his disguise. We don't really want to mess with that, especially if he's looking into the runes. I'm just as curious as the rest of you. Yeah. Are you going, Artie, Professor? What What is your What is your name? Oddly enough, John. But not that John. 
I've only met Orator a few times. Most of what I know is from that. I'm John Jones. It's a pleasure, Mr. Jones. Hmm. Are you a doctor by any chance? Nope. Just pick things John. up along the way. I can do yeah, Mr. Jones and me. <laughs> <laughs> different John different John Jones. This one's also called called the Martian Manhunter. John, are you going to continue investigating these runes after we leave? Are you going to keep working on the Warforged and the Hal? When I can, yeah. This is slowly becoming my top priority. Um, I have about 400 Hal units I gotta look through now, and these... I don't know who else I can trust to do it, so I'm gonna have to do it myself, and... Hopefully Tesla's not useless with helping, so you never know. He's not the he's not a bad assistant. He can teach most of the classes because everything's been written down for him. Sending him off on his own to learn stuff has been troubling, but hey. He has some weird ideas that some people like, but not me. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to have to try and come up with a way to mass search a lot of these units to see if anything else is going to go wrong. Does the room pop up and detect magic? A little bit, yeah, but it is completely different type of magic. Um, Wouldn't you detect... just be able to search for that in the, Warf in the Warforged? To some extent, uh, he it's not something he'd, he'd have to practice. And... It's not something that would really pop up a lot because it is a completely different school of magic and it's not one that you'd learn. Um, given time, you could probably try to adapt like a, a certain detect magic for that type of magic, but yes and no. It's more open it up. Like if the unit was closed, you wouldn't really get a lot until the unit is open. Um, just because the rune itself is so small on there, um, takes a lot to look for. But now that he knows what he looked to look for, it'll probably help him out a lot. But it's the type of stuff he wouldn't really want other people to learn about. I'm gonna, I'm still holding his stone in my hand, so I'm... I'm just going to look at him and just kind of like move around in my hand a little. To continue that research, it seems like this is something important for you to have. Obviously, it's got all his How memories. However. Not all. I wish it was all. He's cut down a lot. However, we do, we do have this knowledge now. And we clearly haven't gotten off on the, the best foot. Nope. My uh, first time I came so, across you people, I got blown up and then attacked. So I know that you need this, but... Sorry, go ahead. No, I said at least we're consistent. <laughs> this is true. So, so before I give this back, I'm going to need some type of assurance that you will relay to us what you find while investigating these runes. Do you have anything I can contact you with? I'm not. I don't really have a sending stone or anything here. Um, if you can find someone who will uh, attune one to the two of us, sure. Or give me one and you keep another one, sure. I currently don't have anything here that would do that. Unless you tell me where you are and I can send somebody there. Or now that I know you, I don't really know a sending spell myself. But I could... If I introduce you to... Actually, no, Winifred could do it. You've met her. I can tell her. She can tell you. We'll, we'll go through her. 
I'm not going to tell her everything. How do I know? How do we know that you are going to tell us the truth? That you'll even tell us at all? I guess you're going to have to trust me. You've seen us fight. You know we do magic. I know the professor didn't love magic, but you're from the Feywild. Do you have the same... Oh, he he didn't like magic. He knew a lot. Just didn't mm-hmm. like using it. Mm-hmm. We know that we are capable of multiple... Multiple different magics. Yeah, yeah, we can we can get past I, the threat. And I'm, I'm, I do, I'm not we, stupid. I do have a way to make sure that you tell us. And I'm going to reach up and finger my pendant again and just kind of slide it back and forth. And say, I'll give this back. Well, uh, it's not really for me. It's for everybody else here. That's useful to not just me. It's useful to a lot of other people that I have it. So if you want to screw over the rest of the city and students, by all means, keep it. Yeah, they're not I can really just become anyone else. But I is there like I, said, I enjoy my job. <laughs> could could I? I'm really leaning on this pen to think. Is his yep. his is the stone around his neck, and like this is around my neck. And yep. If you <laughs> want to try and do like a um, either a good persuasion or performance, that's uh, what I was hoping for. Was pers- yeah, yep. either one of those to just sure. kind of try to convince him that bad things will happen if yep. he doesn't. Keep us in the loop. No, he rolled a six for deception, so. You gotta beat a six. (laughs) That is an 11. (laughs) Still beat it. Yep, still beat it. Um, Barely, okay. Yeah, so I basically just want to try to convince him that if he doesn't. Yeah. Would you like it in writing? Yes, that would be great. I'll pull out a a quill and paper. (laughs) Fine, let's do a contract. Sure. (laughs) And then I'll give it back. Do you need legal representation to witness this? I actually appreciate your level of sarcasm, but no, this will do. Fine. Let's Thank do you. it this way then. He's going to sign it and uh, cut his thumb and put a, a thumbprint on it for a blood contract. Perfect. Good enough for you? Can I have that back now? I'll hold it out to him. <sighs> Thank you. I guess I'm going to have to hide this a little bit better. You're stuck fiddling with it, that's all. It's the only way I can remember stuff. I need to touch it. What if you put it in your pocket? Do you know how many things are in my pocket? I've tried that before. Every time I pull something out, it just comes out, and I've, I've lost it a few times. Right on the neck works. Now I'll just make it a longer chain. That'll We'll figure it out. It's my problem, not yours. Thank you. <sighs> Yeah, last place I known, he went, like I said, got a bunch of ships and went somewhere. I, I, I didn't ask. Didn't think he was going to be going long. Usually he went to one of the mines and looked for stuff. Sometimes he'd go west, go out east towards um, other areas. Um, I know at some point he went and talked to the merchant heads along 24, 23 years ago. Um, he went everywhere. Um, he was in Hyrie Point a lot. He had a small little house there. Because um, he was in Hyrie back and forth every now and then. Um, 
but yeah, at Hyrie Point, I think one of his captains of his ship lived there. Other than that, yeah, but between Lulafell, Hyrie Point, and Hyru, on occasion he was up in Brackle in the Brackle Mine. That's where he got most of his copper from, and but and a whole bunch of other stuff. But he didn't really go north a lot. He always hung around here. And he said he found an old mine up near that abandoned keep. Over on the other island. Other than that, he's been everywhere. So. My ears kind of perked up at the abandoned keep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Other than that, I don't know really where he is. But maybe this other John will or uh, Zatanna. I don't know where she is. Like I said, I just. There's a gleating memory of her in there um, with him watching. Apparently he went and saw one of the shows they performed. Thank you for being so forthcoming with us. It's been a pleasure. Yep. I'm just going to make my way towards the door. <laughs> okay. Um. Did any of you guys have any, any interest in the autopsy? Just you guys mm -hmm. know a few other people of having mind issues, and he's mem mentioned it a few times. Yeah. I just don't know if that would be on your radar or not. And you also have... Uh, no, you are invited to a banquet tonight at the uh, Drax Temple, if you still wanted to do that, too. I know Cargath probably does. Mm -hmm. But you're pushing. You'd be around four o'clock. You'd be about four o'clock now. Um, grab, I'll ask grab if I can join him with the autopsy to watch. Mm -hmm. Any particular reason he's going to ask? Because he didn't think that was on your radar. Um, I have another friend losing memories. Like what friend? Any one like particular? an old friend. Okay. Uh, people lose their memories all the time. This is this one's just came quick. Um, yeah, as I said, not as quickly as this. Well, that'll be up to who's ever doing it. If you want to try and show up, sure, but that's on you, not on me. I'm just going because I've been seeing her off and on. And she was quite an important person. So if anyone asks, just tell them your former students. That might help. I don't know. So, yeah. Um, then, like I said, Winifred, if I get anything, I'm sure I'll see you. I think they'll... I think it's happening tomorrow, so I don't know. Um, come by Winifred's in my office in the morning and we'll figure out the autopsy from there. Come early, though, because I have no idea what time they're doing it. And I'm Not tired. Alright, so anything else you guys want to do here before you leave? Or anything you want to ask before you leave. Nope. nope. No. Okay. Alright, where would you guys like to go next? How long do we have before the party? Probably a couple hours. It's dinner, so they'd probably be in the process of getting things organized. So you'd I have... like the library idea. He didn't really have much direction, but there's multiple schools. I assume there are multiple libraries. Yeah, each would have Clark, their what own. Were you, what were you thinking library-wise? Um, well, would I know no a library one... to go to? Uh, you would know, libraries really aren't your specialty. Uh, you would know that there are 
Um, the majority of the important, like, old stuff uh, would be at the Luna Key Castle on the other island, on the big island. Uh, here, uh, because the here would just be more anything needed for the construction of the place would be here. Anything that would pertain, like anything new would be here. Anything old would be um, not in this building unless someone brought it here, like another an extra copy from the Luna Castle. But the majority, almost everyone would know that the big library and the oldest library is at the Luna Castle on the other island. Here, it would just be more student papers, um, like anything from when the castle was built, from when the Moonkeep was built till now. Uh, nothing mm -hmm. old unless you really, really searched. Your other option would be, um, like Cargath, to find anyone else who knows more about runes. Um, so more individuals than anything might help, which is why I think you're told to go see John. Mm -hmm. But then again, Orator's memories there, weren't that great either. Is there like a fighter's academy? Lulafell. That's where we got told about where all the wolf forges went crazy. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's basically the military That's right. That's hub. Right. Yeah, and he was contacted by General Lane. You've probably recognized the name. Um, Lois would have told you that her father is in the army. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you probably wouldn't have put it in connection till now, though. I definitely think we should go there and get more information from General Lane. But before the party, before dinner, is there anywhere else around here that could be helpful? Unless you went and talked to any of the other professors at the other schools. Um... I mean, we are at a college. We could put up in a form or a sheet looking for anyone that knows anything about runes. Uh, we'll get... Well, uh, Kargath's going to peek up uh, and go, well, we could always just hang drawings of the symbol and see who looks at it or grabs it. I don't know. I'm just... Unless I can contact the person I was learning from but I know runes and he's just gonna you'll see he's got a couple inscribed on him but it's completely different type and his will glow like just like a normal um, any type of magic I think his is what school of magic would his be uh, I can't remember what the rune knight stuff is uh, most of his is going to be enchantment and transmutation, I believe. What he has on him. He's got the stone rune and the fire rune. But yeah, um, his is more like uh, etched symbols, not something that looks like the antlers that you guys keep seeing. Well, it's more like antlers with thorns on them. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to clean up for dinner then? Yeah, I think... I think that would be a wondrous idea. Mm -hmm. Head back to the inn and check on my panther. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're not too too far from the inn. It's still only like a fifteen minute walk. Um, did you guys want to do anything and or talk about anything on the way? Yeah. Um, 
Clark had noticed Anaket clutching her uh, her her um, necklace necklace as well. Yeah, you, I don't know why I couldn't think of that one okay. word. <laughs> you, would, you would have also um, noticed your other two compatriots, your smaller ones, um, try to hide everywhere they've gone. So, is that around your neck the same? Is what the uh, what uh, John had as the memory stone? Yeah. No, no, not at all. Um, when I when I put that on, it was like I it was like I was dreaming really quickly, but they weren't my dreams. Like I was, it's like I was having flashes of someone else's life really quickly just from that stone so my necklace is nothing nearly as cool as that it's pretty much just for show it is a pretty representation of a sentimental time in my past i was trying to get him to talk to me by acting like i had something similar because this thing's around my neck oh See, but then Gargas grabbed it, so it worked. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He was... I usually don't do like that, but he made me angry. And when he asked for it, I didn't think he was going to give it to you. So, yeah, sorry. It worked. Thank you. Mm. I, I'm new with you, big guy. I was getting to the point where I... I wasn't liking him very much until we found out a little more of the truth. I kind of like started to like him when he healed you guys. That's just that made me a little happy. But yeah, I just I can tell I know why he doesn't want to talk because that's a heck of a story. But yeah, I can see where he's coming from. Five people gang up on you and want to know everything and poke you and prod you. I'd get angry too. And. Yeah. He's also defensive because he doesn't actually have the the answers or the access to nope. the memories that we're asking him about anyway. So. He's trying to be somebody he's not. Mm -hmm. And it kind of blew him up. A little oh, strange that oh. one created a portal and one exploded, though. Don't understand that. You need a little more education on these rooms, big guy. I know. I just don't know if we're going to find it in a book. Yeah. It doesn't seem I like was... something somebody would write down. I was just hoping that maybe someone knew of something at least similar. Yeah. And, like, who would go in and just steal a bunch of stuff from Professor? I don't get that either, but whatever. Oh. Well, it's not our problem. Times are hard in some places, and maybe that just... The way it is. No, I'm just wondering if it's all these protesters. I wonder if they snuck in and stole something from him because they don't like what they're doing. I don't know. Too many questions, not enough answers. But I'm tired and I'm yeah. hungry. We skipped lunch. Pre-dinner snack? Well, I'd, I'd always go for a pre-dinner snack. <laughs> he, he needs his 11 -sies. Yeah. I mean, breakfast didn't really work out either, did it? Nope. All three of them. And coffee didn't last too long either. Head back, <sighs> check on the panther and the horse. Maybe <laughs> grab a beer and some something to get us to dinner. <laughs> okay. An ale. <laughs> Remember 
for the name of the inn. I got it written down here somewhere. Where did you is guys... Is that the Fae and the Fiddle, or is that something else? That was the other one. You guys went to the last flower. Okay. Yeah, the Fae and the Fiddle is in Marzell. That's be mine. Yeah. That's Arik sister's place. Okay. So, uh, anything else before you hit the end? Okay. Nope. Right. Nope. So, as you hit the end, um, you go around to check on your panther. And give me a perception check. <laughs> God, that's an eight. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't see him. More horses there. Panther's not there. Is the wolf wolf hole? Sorry, say that again. Did the panther have a snack on the war horse? <laughs> nope. War, ho <laughs> war horse is still there. Other way around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they were a little, uh, they knew each other, so they were, um, uh, comfortable with each other. Um, yeah, uh, you don't see signs of a struggle, you just don't see your panther. I want to cast Speak with Animals. Okay. And ask the horse okay. where the panther went. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Uh. First, I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna yell, Kerrigan. <laughs> do I hear anything? <laughs> you do not hear anything. Okay, now I'm gonna ask the horse. <laughs> okay. I don't know um, the horse's name. <laughs> uh, he never got a name, I don't believe. Let me see. Give me one sec. I got to open up his session zero. He was giving it to him in his session zero. I don't think I had a name for that. I guess it doesn't matter. He probably doesn't follow. Oh, who, who owned him Henry. before? Um, yeah, the. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I did not give him a name. Nope, no name. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm sure there's some type of carrot or apple or something laying around there where he's... Mm -hmm. where they are. I'm just going to grab one and kind of walk up and feed him a little snack and <laughs> rub his nose and say, hey. <laughs> okay. I know there's a big scary panther in here with you for a while, but can't seem to find him. Do you know where he went? Oh, uh him um he left hmm see i haven't eaten and i did that uh duck hand came around i ate again uh a couple hours ago i think by himself kind of hard to tell in here he just something spooked him and he left i didn't ask because he's not a talker yeah, that's true. Did anybody else come in? Um, other people came in. Not many noticed he was gone. I just don't smell him. That's how I knew he wasn't here. Did you see him leave? I was napping, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. There's not much to do in here. It's boring. I need to run. They haven't let me out. I'm so sorry. I'm going to give him another carrot and say, we'll, we'll get somebody in here. I'll, I'll send somebody. Okay. Tell the big guy to, hi. To give you a ride. Okay. Definitely. The, thank you. Is, just, is there any other animals in there? Other horses. That's about it. A couple donkeys, but yeah, nothing major. It's a that Cargas horse was the one that was closest to. Yeah, they were in the same. Uh, last time you went to look, uh, they were snuggling each other. Um, how many ways are in and out of here? 
Uh, it's two? just like a barn, one one on each side. Yep. Like on each end. Okay. Um, can I also? This is good for ten minutes. So can I? I want to ask one of the other horses that's like closer to the entrances. Sure. Just which whichever whichever one. I'm going to do the same thing and take okay. out the carrot and say, "Hey, <laughs> do Whoa, you see a food. panther leave here?" I uh, don't know what that is. Did you see a big, scary, black <gasps> that thing? That thing. Yeah. Didn't like him. Smelt wrong. Um, went out quick. Don't know where it went. Stopped carrying it. Alone? Left. Alone. Hmm. Not long ago? Mm, I don't know time. Okay. It's been a bit. Give him another carrot. <laughs> Give him another carrot. Scratch his ears. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Gotta figure out a way to track him down. Head back on into the inn and sit for a bit. Okay. Yep, everything in the you said, you said there's no signs. Sorry. Nope. No signs of anything. Okay. Not from there, no. Alright. Alright. Uh, what did you guys want to do while you're in the inn? Or just wait a couple hours until you go um, to the temple? Um, too, so wasn't the people too that sh- need a short rest want to take a short rest? Yep. Yeah, you guys can get a short rest. That's easy. Which short rest mean? and get my spell slots back, but then if there's still a little bit more time before while people are getting ready, I would like to kind of walk around the outside of the barn and the inn and just kind of look for all prints, cool. like anything that... Okay. Give her a hand with the tracking of the beast. Okay. Thank you. So you want to start looking for Mr. Panther? Can we ask the stable master if he knew anything? Uh, you can, yep. I don't I assume there wasn't one. Like we just left them there. No. Yeah, that's a great... <laughs> no, he, he would have been there watching you talk to horses. Yeah. Uh was leaving yes. you alone because didn't know exactly what the hell was going on. I mean, I'm a cat. I'm a I go for the animals first. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so if you ask the uh, stable master, he's just going to say, I assumed you took him. Um, now that I look, his saddle's off. Uh... With cats, it's hard to say. I don't get them. Like, he's the first in years. I don't... Sorry, no. They have a mind of their own. They're they're not a horse. The horses can't get out. It's a cat. I'm sorry. Would you have noticed if someone walked in and walked out with a, a large animal? Easily. Yeah. Um... Cats are quiet. It could have climbed up. I don't know its training, so I can't talk to it. Like, you can... These, apparently? Yeah. No. But it's like a 200-pound person-sized cat. Would you have seen it? Uh, if I seen it go, yeah. Uh, it yeah. hasn't really made much. It's enjoyed the company of that horse over there, but other than that... It's a panther. I, I don't deal in panthers, I'm sorry. Maybe he came looking for you. Thank, thank you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna walk around and look look for tracks. Okay. Any help there? Thank you. Uh, give me a survival with advantage. If Could you're gonna help? help, sure, absolutely. Yeah, well, I'm not doing anything else. I've had my short rest. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Art needs is a long rest, but. 
Oh, uh, still a 13. It's not awesome. Uh, Better than a 7, though. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> it's a, not an that one. Um, because these are, like, uh, this place is fairly, like, it's stone, so it's not dirt. So you'd see a couple claw marks that aren't yours um, leaving um they're not spread out so it doesn't look like it's running just more like it just got up and walked out uh you can kind what of tell it went uh towards the temples well that's that's where we're going anyway um yeah so whenever when everybody's ready when it's time to go to dinner say we'll just head did that they, way did they say how long ago Couple hours. He left. Couple hours. So pretty much when oh. you guys were, a um, couple hours ago would have been. Uh, you would have just been going towards, just right after the battle when you're going towards the uh, tower. But we did stop at the temple first. So if he was following our scent, yep, that would have been the first place he went. Mm-hmm. How much time is left before dinner? Should uh, I go on ahead? Or? After a uh, long rest, it'd be pretty much close to when you know uh, you guys can go any time now. A long rest or short rest? Short, short rest. rest. Yeah, you only had a couple hours to kill. So you had time for like two short rests. Yeah, I've, I've got to I've gotta find him. We can't... Not only don't do I want... I don't want a panther running loose in the city, but I also would like to okay. find my friends. So. Yeah, yeah, you've only had him really only for a day, so you haven't really yeah. had time to bond with it yet. Right. I'm hopeful though, so I don't want to just abandon it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So as you guys are going towards the temple, um, did you guys change into anything specific, or are you just going as what you have on? I can't remember if any um, of you have anything major. To I'll change into something a bit different because my clothes are burnt and singed. Yes. Okay. I'm going to put on a different cloak that has some gray and black around the edges since we're going to the Temple of Drax. Okay. As a follower of Drax. Yep. Four colors. <laughs> Kargas just pretty much going to go in all his new stuff. It didn't really get too ripped uh, but he does have lots of other clothing to choose from uh, yeah he'll he'll change into something nice okay so as you guys get in there um, it's a lot brighter than it was the last time you were here um, all everything is lit even though it is slowly starting to get dark uh, this place is picked up quite a bit um, when there was only seven in here now. There's probably about 70. Um, as you guys get in there, you will see most of the um, uh, church pews have been set back, and there's a whole bunch of tables there. A um, couple of the, um, like the cobalt muck that you uh, met, uh, he's up there hanging some buntings and a whole bunch of stuff. They're just They're trying to make the Temple of Drax look festive when this place is not used to looking festive. It's a little I, odd. it's a little odd looking. Can I ask the guy at the door if he's seen a panther? What? Um that thing. <laughs> oh god, I'm glad it's yours. Yeah. Oh no. I'm gonna point at the um to back and be like, no, it's hers. Yours. Where? Where did you see him? Is he here? I assume he came looking for something, scared the shit out of everybody. He's fine. Um, he's in the back somewhere. Um, they don't have him locked up, but I think he's playing with some kids. Okay. Can, can you take me or show me where he is? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm just glad someone came to... We didn't really know what to do. We've... Thank you weird for keeping him. Weird shit's happening, but... Um, so yeah, when you guys are going around back, you're going to see quite a few people. Um, a couple of the um, Cargaffel recognize a couple of them from the uh, Terran temple um, you'll see the ogre is still at the forge oddly enough still banging away 
Um, and you come across Throck. And Throck's at the very back. Uh, as soon as you guys go past everybody, you'll see there's tables. The food's slowly starting to get out. Um, multiple different colored people in here. Like everyone's got their uh, temple colors on. So it's just, it's a very odd look in a very darkened building. Um, and Throck's just going to, you'll see him at the back near the um, small altar with the chalice on it. Um, and just like at the front, um, this chalice also has a floating copy of the planet spinning on it. And in the back, you're going to see a bunch of kids playing with your panther. Hey! Throck's just going to look at you and go, Is he yours? He's adorable. He's <laughs> But you really should put him on a leash or something. Uh, he came in like an hour and a half ago. I'm assuming looking for you, but I could not let him leave. And then as soon as everybody started coming, some of them brought their kids. And now this. And you're just going to see like yes. a, half a dozen kids just like crawling all over him. He's licking them. They're, they're having fun. Yes, he is mine. I'm so sorry for <sighs> that inconvenience he's he's a cat he was put up but we'll try harder to keep him where he belongs but since he seems to be happy with the kids and keeping them occupied would you like him to stay for the duration of the party as long as he's gonna continue to act like that he got a little angry when i told him he wasn't allowed to leave but he understood. Uh, I made him understand, but that's fine. As long as I know he's going to leave shortly, I'm okay with that. Thank you. Okay. Thank thank you so much for keeping mm, him. Yeah. I, I think Clark, seeing how well he is uh, treating the kids, he's actually going to go over uh, and, and, and like... Um, you know, with with very carefully with with his with his uh, talons, give him like scratches behind the ear to show that Clark is now realizing he's okay with kids. That Clark is going to be okay with him. Okay, uh, he's pretty much going to do the same thing as you and like um, uh, almost like pin you down and just lick you to death. <laughs> and you see, poor Clark's little wings flipping and flapping underneath this big panther, going. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, you'll probably come away with a few less feathers. Um, it's a rough tongue and he's massive. You in the crew. <laughs> yep. I'm just kind of going to smirk. I'm like, told you. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, I'm going to walk gonna, out. Sorry, go ahead. Clark's just, no, I was I'm just going to say Clark's going to kind of. Do the do the dog shake to get the the cat slobber off him and and um and 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 look up at you and say yeah you were right. I'm gonna hand you a, a little handkerchief and to kind of wipe some of that off and then go over and talk to talk to Kierigan and say hey. <laughs> I don't know if speak with animals is still running, but by now no. No. He seemed to understand Throck enough to stay put. Yeah. So, yeah. gonna kind of, kind of scratch him on the head. Yeah, I'm glad uh, you're okay. He, he's pretty much gonna give you the equivalent of a shrug. Kind of like good, good, I didn't here, really... good here with the kids for a minute. You can tell he kind of understands you a little, and just nods and goes back to playing with the cat with the kids. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say, don't leave without me, and mm -hmm. hope hope that gets through. Yeah. But also, just kind of keep an eye. Try to keep an eye on him as we're yeah wandering around. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty much gonna lift a paw and just chew you away. Cool. Yeah. Understood. Yeah, he, you can tell he just didn't know where you were, and mm -hmm. probably felt something either through you or something weird happening and came to mm -hmm. look for himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah. Um, I'm going to give, since we only have a few minutes left and I don't want to go too much further without Dave, um, I'm going to give Alric and Buster some time to go over what they just went through. And where they've been, mostly. You can pretend if you want to talk about it and thieves can't, just so nobody else can see. Don't, don't think Alva could have anything to say. I... Yeah, I wasn't too sure if you guys wanted to uh, do or say anything about um, anything that might have happened back there. I'm just going to be like, I'm glad we stole that core. That would have been a bitch to fight. Did, did we steal that? It's, it's, been, it's been so many times. Like, like... Like, sure, I mean the crystals, yeah. I mean the crystals. The the cost slip in my mind. I remember just looking at that thing when we took it. We took stuff for it. Yeah, but no, I am, I'm, I'm glad I we don't have to deal with that again. Did you, did you spot the... Uh, Improvements you made. <sighs> I, I, I'm glad, glad I don't have to get through that again. No, I don't think we'd make it the second time as comfortably. Okay. And probably in the back of your both your minds, you're just trying to come up with whoever has it now, what are they using it for? I just hope it's not for something the same size. <laughs> okay. Um, anyone want to do anything else before we end here? I think this is a good stopping point before we get uh, Dave back in two weeks. Okay. Then I think we're going to end here. Actually, before yeah, I just want to say before before we go, Clark sure. uh, is going to take the handkerchief and and use it. You you see him like a towel rubbing his back and drying <laughs> up his his hair, and and then holding it up and and just kind of like holding it up to the side and, and dropping it. Okay, like ew. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, the only other thing I couldn't remember if, uh, no, it was in the morning you, uh, had Chester call you on the Sending Stone, so he called you, though, so I wasn't too sure if you wanted to update him today or in the morning, probably. Yeah, I would say, in, I would say in the morning. Okay. Be, so we can, that way we'll have the, the rest of, you know, this party yeah. and, and then I can fill him in if anything happens with that, too. Okay, perfect. All right, um, then, yeah, uh, we will say you guys get ready to have a fantastic feast, finally. Because you're hungry. <laughs> okay, we shall... Yep, that's good. <laughs>